Celtic mythology. The Triumph of Lu. Perhaps the ancient origin of Sword in the Stone. When the Welsh hero, Lu, was speared by his wife's lover, Grong, he did not die. Instead, he turned into an eagle and flew away. Thereafter, his uncle, the magician Gwydion, searched tirelessly for Lu. He was about to give up when he stopped for a night at a peasant's house. During his stay with the peasant, Gwydion heard of a peculiar sow which his host owned. Every morning, the sow would disappear into the countryside, returning only late at night. The peasant had not the faintest idea where it went. Intrigued, Gwydion waited by the sty of the following morning. As soon as the door was opened, he set off after the sow. He followed it up a stream to a valley, where it started to gorge itself on something that lay beneath the tree. Coming closer, Gwydion saw that the pig was eating maggots and decayed flesh. Looking up to the top of the tree, he saw an eagle. Every time it shook itself, a shower of rotten flesh fell to the ground. Convinced that the eagle was Lou, Gwydion sang it a song. Hearing it, the eagle came down to the middle of the tree. Gwydion sang another song and the eagle came down to the lowest branch. When Gwydion sang a third song, the eagle dropped down onto his knee. Gwydion touched the scrawny bird with his wand and sure enough, it changed back into Lou. Because of his wound, he was in pitiful shape, nothing but skin and bone, and it took him a full year to recover. As soon as Grown heard of Lou's return, he sent him a placatory message offering compensation for the wrong done to him. Lou replied that the only reparation he would accept was for Grown to stand by the river as he himself had done and allow Lou to throw a spear at him. Reluctantly, and only after having asked his brothers, nobles, and soldiers to take his place, Ground agreed. Yet he had one hope of survival. Would it be permissible, he asked, since after all he had only been acting on behalf of an evil woman, to hold a stone in front of him as Lou threw the spear? Lou agreed. But Lou's spear passed right through the stone and hit Grown in the chest, killing him instantly. Lou regained his lands and in due course became ruler of all Gwynedd. And forever afterwards, on the banks of the river Kinfile, the stone stood with the spear sticking through it as a reminder of his triumph overground.